everybody. Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green. I'm a psychic medium. Yes, I do private sessions. Everybody keeps um, reaching out to me after they see my show and say, do you do private sessions? Yep, I do. So if you would like a private session, www.tonig.info, tonyg.info. Yeah, I know it's so old school to say www. It makes me think of like the wrestling things, right? Uh, that's that's my mind. That's how my mind works. I'm trying to give you my web address and I'm thinking about WWE. Okay, so um, I am here every single Monday live at noon. Um, I stream the show originally live on YouTube. Once um, it's streamed on YouTube and Blog Talk and iHeart and all of them, it goes to WSCS where they air it on all of their streaming channels and their actual TV channel. And then to uh, Rude Rangers TV, where they stream it on all of their channels. So this show is not only on YouTube, it is on television. It is on most podcast stations. So please be mindful when you're talking to me, um, asking me questions, commenting, um, <clears throat> And please, if I call out your area code, take your phone off of speakerphone and have a direct question available. Because this is being streamed on so many television st stations, please be mindful not to pull somebody else's um, <clears throat> junk into it. It's okay if you use first names, but if it's very descriptive, please be just be mindful of that. Um, <clears throat> goodness, my throat. I want to say hello to everybody chatting with me live on YouTube. I love you guys so much. And thank everybody waiting in the call log to get their questions answered. I'm so excited for today's show. I want to remind you that I also have a Wednesday show that is a for relationship. It's a relationship um, show where I have a co-host that helps answer relationship questions okay uh, Mimi I love you um, I love you so much Genevieve oh hello sweetie thank you for all the texts that you sent me um, the random person whose name is Heather Steve and there's a couple more people Fawn, I thank you so much for being on YouTube. Now I'm going to start right away with um, Heather. You are you had mentioned that this is the anniversary of two of your people, two people that you care about um, had passed. I believe you said cousins. And the song I hear, and I did put this in the chat on YouTube, but the song I hear is Fly Away With Me, and that might not be the correct title, but I did put that in the chat, but the song goes, Fly Away With Me. And that is the only verse they are giving me. But symbolically, symbolically Fly Away With Me uh, means um, they are together, both of them are together, and both of them are have have like a flown flown um flown away meaning ascended um the other thing i get is um there's a song and i'm not getting all the words to this song heather and i apologize for that but bluebirds sitting in the shade of night or is it blackbird blackbird sitting in the something of night okay i am so sorry folks because i know i cannot sing no matter how soft or pretty i try to make my voice it's just i don't have that singing voice but they they um they are if, if they try to sing through me i try to uh do that for them Birds sitting in the shade night in the black of night bluebird sitting in the black i don't know what that song is i hope you do i hope they make sense but these songs are symbolic of your loved ones on the other side we're going to get straight up into it i'm going to go to the first caller um 
Do you know what? Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I am going to go to caller 310. 310, please, if you have me on speakerphone, take me off of speakerphone. And what's what's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Vince. I'm calling from New York. And by the way, that song is called Blackbird from the Beatles. I love it. Thank you so much for it. I knew there was a reason I went to you first. <laughs> okay, Blackbird. Yeah. And, and and by the way, I made a lot of money singing once because I was so bad people paid me to stop. So. <laughs> Maybe that should be my next career. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So. Anyway, um, I, want to I want to find out something. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, I called you and, and I told you that I was in, under suspension from this uh, huge uh, brewery-owned company. Um, and he said it would take about uh, up to about three weeks before they make a decision. And today's like five weeks now. I called him last week and I found out that the manager that makes the decision was on vacation last week and the week before he's back this week. So I'm wondering... Um, if you see them reaching out to me this week sometime and letting me know if I'm coming back or not. Okay. Because um, you said that they were going to reinstate me. I do feel like that is still a possibility, but I also feel like you should be looking for something else if you can find something else. I always believe that we, <clears throat> when put in that situation, we should always try to keep our options as open as possible. Um, if I were you, I would be looking for something else. I vaguely remember your situation. And what I want to say is, um, I, I feel like it, right now someone is on the fence. It's almost like one person is saying no, but a higher up is saying yes. So even if you do go back, there's going to be some complications with this person who is, just basically, this person has some control and superiority problems, and they're going to try to make your life heck so that you will almost, to, okay, if I can't get you out, I'm going to force you to quit. So if I were you, and again, you know, you, you have, it's absolutely positively your choice how you handle this. Um, I would... I would be looking for something else at this point because I do feel like there is somebody there who kind of has a thorn in their booty and they're not, it's not only you though. They, they, they like micromanage and they want control of everything. So what I would say, you know, depending on your ability to deal with somebody like that, you have to make the choice that's best for you. But if something else does come up, I would definitely, by all means, jump on that. Right. Well, I did have a job interview with their competitor mm -hmm. um, uh, about two weeks ago, and she said they're looking to bring uh, bring me in, like send me up for another interview, and then bring me in. Call. They're looking around uh, March. Excellent. Um, so, and yeah. I would just say so, keep keep looking because I do feel like something else is coming in. That's going to be even a stronger, more powerful opportunity for you. Okay, love. Right. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. I And thanks for letting me know what that song is. And thanks for calling in. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. I know there are a lot of people out there um, that are looking for work right now. And so I want to do a healing um, for anybody looking for work um, that the right opportunity comes to you, that the, the opportunity comes in quickly, and that you, um, you can start uh, having this opportunity um, flourish for you. Now, I, I have said in the past that if you don't, um, if you don't, if you can't find a job, create a job. And I'm going to talk about that after the next caller, who is 480-480. How are you today? 
Hey, thanks for that healing. This is Mike. Hey, Mike. How are you? Good, good. Um, I'm currently, uh, I'm working at a really chill uh, restaurant that just opened. And I'm obviously, I'm overqualified. And I'm looking for the right opportunity. And I kind of feel maybe a connection through this, this restaurant. And I was just kind of curious if you see something like that uh, kind of coming forward. Um, because even within a week, I've already had people going, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes once we're in one position, it opens it up for another position. I always say, if you're offered any position, no matter what the position is, um, and you're not working, take that position. Because once you have a position and you have that energy of I'm working, I'm secure, at least I have something, other things can then start to come to you. So what I'm going to say, there is an opportunity open up to opening up to you next week and then again next month. I feel like you're going to have, they're saying three or four opportunities depending on how many, how many, uh, uh, like how many things you put out there. Now, I do want to say um, you are going to switch twice. So that would be three. You might get four opportunities, but but utilize three of them. You're going to switch twice. Well, does that include the one he's in right now? No, two more switches. So you're going to switch one more time, and then there will be one more after that. And I feel like shortly, either by the new year, and I know we're so close to the new year, who would switch three, two times by the new year? But you never know. One of them might be an offer that you say yes to and never go to because a better offer comes in once you say yes to the next offer. But it's still a it's still a switch in some way. But I feel like by the new year, within a month to a month and a half, you're going to be in the position that you want. Now, the position you're thinking of, it's a good position. Don't hold out that that's the final position. I feel like there's something better than that coming in. Even um, a little, uh, uh, I'm hearing a little higher end than that or a higher position with a different place than you're thinking of. So you might get this position you're thinking of with the place you're thinking of, but then something else might come in right on the heels of that, that you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think of this. This is so much better. So please keep all your options open and don't be afraid to kind of flip positions is what they're saying. Um, it's like that song, Thank You, Next. <laughs> Thank you, Next, uh, where you're kind of leveling up with every position that comes through. I hope that makes sense to you. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and you know, it's kind of like dating when, you know, you go through a drought and you haven't been dating and then all of a sudden you start dating someone and then, then everybody comes out of the woodwork. <laughs> it is. It's exactly like that. It is exactly like that. So let's... Um, like, where the hell were you? Where, where the hell were you months ago? <laughs> exactly. Yes. Exactly. Well, they were in a, they were either in a non-dating or a bad situation and they finally cleared that up too. Once you get that energy out there and you feel good about it, I think everything just starts coming in. So I'm going to say, let's open up the best possible, let's do a healing, a clearing on, let's open up the best possible path for the best possible job and or career for everybody. Okay, thank you so much for calling in and please keep me posted on these um, changes or jobs that are coming in for you, these new ones, because I would love to hear back about them, okay? Absolutely, thank you so much. You are so welcome. I am gonna go to the next caller right after this. So I wanna say, you know, in, in my last show, I, I said, you know, if there's, and I've said this so many times to people, if there is not, if there's not a job, create one. If you live in an area where there is no job for you, maybe there are jobs, there's just not any, you just haven't found what makes you happy. Go to an area where you will. Do not be afraid. Do not keep yourself stuck in things. Now, when I say if there's not a job, create one, this can mean a couple of different things. And the first thing that this can mean is that you literally start your own business. 
And in starting your own business, eventually you help to employ other people. And it can be doing what you're doing. You can take your position and become an independent contractor and contract yourself out to companies rather than being employed by companies. There's a, There are so many benefits to being an independent contractor over an employee. Employers have a lot more restrictions that they can put upon you where uh, if you're contracted with a company, there are less restrictions they can put on you. Now you might ask, well, how do you create your position to be an independent contractor or put it out there that you're creating this position? Get online and where people post for jobs, post yourself, post what you do. Somebody will see it. Somebody will, if you're putting that out there, somebody's going to see it. Somebody's going to bring you in. Somebody will either hire you or contract you. And who knows, you might have two companies that actually contract you that you can, you can work for both of them at the same time from your home. You never know when you fl flip the script yeah, flip the script. When you change the way you do things, how things can change. When you change the way you do things, things can change in beautiful, miraculous ways for you. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next caller. And the next caller is... Dun, dun, dun. 262. Hey, 262. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Steve, and I'm calling from Racine, Wisconsin. Hey, Steve. How are you? You are, like, literally my neighbor. <laughs> You're so close to me. So how are you today? I know I had... Uh, I, good. How are you? I had an in-person with you a couple of years ago. I really enjoyed it. It was really uh, insightful. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so how can I help you? What's your question for me today? My question is, does my mom, her name is Lois, have any guidance for me as to uh, optimize my chances for being at the right place at the right time in order to meet a potential girlfriend, significant other, etc.? Okay. I love that. Um, yes. Okay. So the first thing is... Um, get. Uh, this is going to sound weird. I'm sure you get out, but get out more, but get out more with intention in those places. And don't be afraid to travel. She's saying, don't be afraid to travel. So right. And not only for, you know, because you have to, but because you want to um, go with intention um, and be, be in those, be in those spaces. You know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to share a story with you and, and everybody listening, um, a friend of mine, a really, really good friend of mine, love her. Um, she was getting her oil changed this past weekend, and it, it, she went in for one reason, which there, it, it, it ended up not being the reason. It, she didn't need to get that fixed on her vehicle, but it took a really long time for the oil change at the dealership. In the meantime, a guy comes in who just relocated from another state and they start talking and they're going on a date. So two points to this story, you never know where you're going to meet someone. And number two, lift your face from your phone, folks, lift your face from your phone. Don't be where we're no matter where we are, we're sitting in our phone on our computer. We're not making eye contact. Make eye if you are single, if you are looking Make eye contact with people. Get get do that. So, on that note, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. In uh, I hear two different time frames in a week and a month. This means that in the in a week you have a potential to meet someone who might be a very good partner for you, or might be somebody that you date a couple of times. But in a month, is somebody else coming in? Same person. Yep. You might meet somebody in a week. You have the potential to meet somebody in a week. If you don't meet them in a week, you will meet them in a month. But this has the potential to take off and be a really, really just 
a really good connection for the two of you. Okay? Sounds good to me. Excellent. And hey, um, Steve, just in case you're not on my email list, I want to let you know this upcoming weekend on the 13th, I'm having a holiday get together from three to six at my office. So if you can make it, I'd love to see you there with everybody else. So it's going to be, um, I don't know what it's going to be, but it'll be. So there's that. <laughs> there's that. I'll say it's, it's, it'll be fun. <laughs> it, it'll be fun. Oh, I don't want to oversell it. I don't know. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't want to. Yeah, well, I appreciate you taking my call. <laughs> absolutely. I look forward to talking with you again. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. Okay. You too. Thank you again, Tony. You're welcome. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. For those looking for a partner that have not found their partner yet, I'm going to do a healing. Um, Anything stopping or blocking us from meeting the right person, let's clear that now. Anything stopping or blocking us from having a healthy, whew, loving relationship, let's clear that now. So just in case I don't get to this person, there's somebody listening and or watching. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Kay. Um, um, just in case I don't get to this person, there is somebody coming in that's telling me somebody is thinking about starting their own business. They're really thinking about starting their own business with this new year. And I'm hearing you should go for it. This is for somebody who might be watching um, now or later on YouTube or one of the, the channels, uh, the streamings that I'm on or a podcast, and maybe you didn't get the chance to call in. Somebody is Okay, thinking of starting their own business, you should go for it. And then I'm hearing something with graphics. Now, I don't know if these are the same people or two different people, but the person with graphics, and I, I'm i just going to say the word graphics because I'm not really familiar enough with that to start to go into detail about it. But the person with graphics, you are thinking maybe there's an expansion you want to do and you're supposed to do that, either expanding to other companies or ex expanding on your own. Okay, so those, I think I handled that appropriately. Let's hope so. I'm going to go to 856. 856, how are you today? Uh, fine, how are you? I'm, Actually, I want to start a business, and partner, I want to do you trying to get him to expand oh. from his business. So I was just, was I just, like, was I literally talking about you before I clicked on you? <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> okay, so what's, what's your name, love? Uh, Rose Maria. Rose Maria, how can I help you? What's your question today? Um, I guess the relationship, too, um, when... They're going to come in. I'm not meeting the right ones or the, either too young or I'm not prejudiced or anything. It's just. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for like somebody Italian, Italian, directly from there. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I don't, I, I, it, did you say Italian, Italian? What was the last thing directly from there? What was the last thing you said? Uh, they were born born and raised there because I'm from there too. But okay. I live in the U.S. Okay, so I do, where do you live, love? Um, right now, I'm in New Jersey. Okay. I just came back from New York. Okay, on the East Coast. The East Coast is full of Italian boys, by the way. Um as far as the, the last time I heard they were, um, not all of them straight off the boat. They might be second or third generation. What I'm hearing for you is be open to what comes in. Um, there are international dating sites that you can use for if you want somebody that is an Italian native, uh, Italy native is what I'm hearing. If you want that, there are international dating sites. Just make sure that you're being 
um, logical in that sort of connection. I do feel like there is the potential for you to meet a more serious, long-term connection in about, oh, gosh, I'm hearing two different things. In about, boy, a lot is happening for people in a month and a half. I'm just saying everything I'm hearing is happening in a month and a half. But we're going to see what happens. I feel like this is going to come in in about a month and a half. And love, there's some background noise. So I'm just, unfortunately, I have to mute you just to not have that background noise because, you know, this does air. But I'm going to finish answering. I'm going to finish answering your question and or giving you the rest of this. And that is that you, you know, here's what I'm going to say. You're, you're going to have the potential to meet somebody in a month and a half between a month and a half and three months. And th this is going to be somebody that has the potential to be a more substantial relationship. Somebody who, who can do the longer term relationship. Um, if you literally are looking for someone from Italy uh, that first generation off the boat, plane, whatever you want to call it, Italian. Um, I feel like that can happen in about the six month mark. If that is what you want, I would say, where are you going to meet this person? Hmm. This person might actually be in Florida. That person might actually be in Florida. They it's possible that the person that you're going to meet that's from uh, your your native, your home country, uh, could be in Florida or you meet them in Florida. And that has the potential to happen in approximately six months. So that's what I have for you. And I want to thank everybody who called in. I'm sorry for those of you I did not get to. I will be, I'm here every single Monday answering questions.